everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures, and it's been a while since I sat down and did a collect a haul or a thrift haul. I've been working on filming some organization videos of my sewing notions, and so as I've been thrifting for things to use in those videos, I'm just kind of throwing in, hey, I got this or that. So I decided that I really need to go around and find all this stuff and share it. This tea set was $8, and I saw it the other day, saw it on Tuesday, and then decided to pick it up today on Thursday. It's not a matching set, but they go together because it's white. So these are some fine cups. They are D and C France, and when you hold them up to the light, you can see through them, so that means they are bone, bone china. And I remember, I'd say probably in the fall, saying to my daughter, we need to find some cute little teacups. So I don't think that these are technically considered teacups. They might be the coffee or demi tasse cups, uh, but we can use them as teacups. Just something that wasn't as big as a coffee mug, something that was dainty and nice for tea. So I love those. I love that they're from France, but then I love this teapot. And this teapot is just uh, more of a ceramic. I mean, it could be porcelain, but it's a nice teapot. It's like an individual size, I'd say. So the other one that we have is also white with a gold cozy, and it's probably enough for two people. And it has this lid, which all the pieces are in fabulous condition. There's no chips on anything, but look at this. It's got this perfect little strainer that you can put the loose leaf tea in. And the mesh is so fine that you're not going to get any tea leaves in the water. I just love it. And now when we have tea, we can both have our own teapots because my son doesn't care about tea. And we can have different flavors. It's just wonderful. Isn't that cute? Yeah. How can we have our own flavors? Well, because I can put one tea in one teapot and another tea in another teapot. How many teapots do you have? Well, two now. Oh. These were 50 cents a piece, and I don't know what I'm going to do with them. They could become a hanky keeper, or I could turn them into sachets. But they have this silky tan color. It has some lace on the top and then around the edges. I've been on the hunt for a nice crossbody black purse that wasn't too big that I could just put some essentials in. And when I arrived today, I saw this on the purse table and it was $6. And it looks like it is real leather. And it's a brand called Maple Made in the USA. So I don't know anything about that, but it has two zippers, one in the front, the main one, and on the back, a little pocket, which I don't usually use those, but that could be fine for like sunglasses where you just take them off and put them in there. But I wear a lot of black and I've just been using like a champagne colored neutral bag for the past two years. I actually picked it up at the church sale two years ago and I really just wanted something that was uh, black. I picked up some smelly stuff. So we have a soap Looks like it's decorated for Christmas. It smells like gardenias. It smells amazing. It's, you know, from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And then these also had the uh, Marshalls tag on them. I don't know. It says compared to 10, so I don't know if that would have been about six at the store. And I paid four, which is fine, because these will be great to give to my daughter for Christmas. And there's peppermint twist, strawberry vanilla, and cinnamon rose smells or sounds amazing plus look at the packaging just so pretty oh, take the price tag off <laughs> and then I got this candle which is totally for me it's got some pretty Christmas uh, packaging it was one dollar and uh, it is Claire Burke it says originally suggested retail at eight dollars and it smells amazing this candle, the scent of it, it's cinnamon is the main scent, but when I smell it, I just think of walking into some little house or barn that's been converted into a shop and there's like warm apple cider and crafts for sale for Christmas and, and that the whole place would be warm and toasty and smell like this candle. And I thought, can I burn it? It is July 1st, Christmas in July. I might have to burn that today. 
I found some things for the kitchen. I have been on the hunt for some well-used wooden spoons just for decor. So these were 50 cents a piece. This one has three bands that look like they had some color to them at one point. And here at this spot, it is so whittled down. And I don't know if that's just from like resting against a pot. And it just almost looks like it could have been hand carved. So it's got a nice rustic look. And I only ever had one other one. So now I have this one and I also have this one to add to the collection for some decor in the kitchen. And copper is always on my list and I found a set of measuring cups, which is wonderful because I don't have any that are copper. And they have these nice brass handles. And what's also nice is that it's not just uh, another set of measuring cups, but this one has a three quarters of a cup measure. And I don't know if there's a lot of recipes that I make that call for that, but this is a three quarter cup and the other set that I have uh, does not have that measure in it. So that's nice to get something and actually, you know, not have it be exactly a repeat. And uh, I paid $8 for this set. So I think uh, that's all I'm going to share in this video, and I'll make another kind of quick one where I share some more things that I've picked up at the rummage sale, and I also had two trips to the thrift store. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.